Hello and welcome to another Connect Booster support video. Today we will be walking through setting up the QuickBooks Web Connector. This tool will enable the synchronization between your QuickBooks desktop company file and your Connect Booster portal. To get started, we first need to open QuickBooks and log into the company file with the main administrator credentials. This is only needed for the setup procedure, and once finished, you should be able to use the tool while logged into QuickBooks with any user account. Next, we need to open the Web Connector utility. Let's go to the File menu and update Web Services at the bottom. We recommend putting a shortcut on your desktop or pinning to Taskbar so the tool is easily launched as needed in the future. Now we need to download what is called a configuration file. This is done within your Connect Booster portal. First, log in, click on the menu bar, and then Settings. Click on Integrations, and you should see QuickBooks listed as an integration. Hover over the three dots and click Settings. Select Build Config File and then Download. We will want to choose the Save option, with the destination to the default Downloads folder being just fine. Now let's bring focus to the web connector again, and in the bottom right corner we will click Add an Application. We will browse to where we last saved the downloaded configuration file and double click or select Open. A few permission dialog prompts may now open, but it depends if the tool has been set up before with the same company file. In this video, we will go through the motions of the tool being set up for the first time, so it shouldn't cause alarm if you don't see the identical steps. Now we will select Always Allow Access, even if QuickBooks is not running. On the drop-down list, we will pick a user account for the sync to use. You may select Admin or you may select another QuickBooks user created specifically for the tool. This account will be used if the tool tries to synchronize with QuickBooks closed, as it needs to log into QuickBooks in a background Windows process. If you are already logged into QuickBooks, the tool will just use your active connection. Click Continue and the last permission box, Done. The last step is to enter a password. Simply type in anything so it is not blank. You will not need to remember this password. With this entered, hit the Tab key on your keyboard and save your new entry. Finally, checkmark the selection box on the left and click Update Selected. This will initiate syncing invoice and payment data and may be done manually at any time. The status bar should start updating. Give it 30 seconds or so to see if it has connection errors. If not, you can walk away or minimize as it is ready to go. This concludes our video with setting up the web connector. Feel free to email support at connectbooster.com if you run into any questions or experience difficulty.